The madness is about to begin. We're just two days away from the beginning of the NCAA tournament, one of the biggest sporting events of the year. And the Gonzaga men are in Salt Lake City to play the winner of Prairie View and Farley Dickinson. Our Drew Reeves was there to send the Zags on their way. And Drew, it was a small crowd to say the least this year. Yeah, that's right. The school didn't announce when the men would be boarding their bus to head to Salt Lake City, so there were not a whole lot of us there to send the guys off. But amongst our cameras was one lone Zags fan. I got to speak to him about the excitement around this year's tournament. It wasn't a loud crowd or even a large crowd cheering the Zags on today, but it was a supportive one. One by one, Corey Kispert, Rui Hachimura, Brandon Clark, and the rest of the team emerged from the kennel to make the trek to Salt Lake City. And cheering them all on was this man, Ken Peters. We're so blessed to have one of the best basketball teams in the nation right here in Spokane. They do us proud. They're class acts as individuals. I love the coaches. And uh, just what a great program. Ken was the only fan out here to wave the players goodbye. And he wasn't even out here on purpose. Yeah, I was coming by to take a picture of the, you know, the arena, and I was going to make a Facebook post and, and just say, hey, go Zags, and, you know, have a cool uh, picture to go with it. And I saw the bus was here, and I thought, oh, my goodness, I think they're leaving right now. So I parked and ran out here and uh, said goodbye to all the guys. Ken moved to Spokane 20 years ago, the same year that the Zags made a run all the way to the Elite Eight. So I'm not saying there's any correlation with me moving to town and them <laughs> getting good, but, but ever since I moved to Spokane, they've been good. But just because Ken was the only one out here doesn't mean the team didn't get a proper send off. I am beast mode in and of myself, so I'm equal to 20 fans. <laughs> and with that, the Zags were off. So as long as the team keeps winning, remember, you may have Ken to thank for that. And Ken, along with thousands of us here in Spokane, are eagerly waiting for the Zags to play their first game in the tournament. Tip off for that will be on Thursday, just a few minutes before 4.30. At Gonzaga University, I'm Drew Reeves, KXLY4 News.